Luxfruits has a total of 38 fruits. Some of them are good for farming, some for PvP, but a few of them are on a different league, especially for bounty hunting. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the top 10 best fruits for bounty hunting in Blox Fruits. Let's begin. Starting off at number 10, we have the Venom Fruit. This fruit has super high damage which can be very useful in fighting other people. And also, if we talk about combos, yes, you can easily do combos with the Venom Fruit. And to be honest, I think the Venom Fruit is very easy to learn, so if you guys are starting to bounty hunt, I would recommend you guys to use this fruit. And lastly, this fruit is not really that hard to get, so you guys could trade for it or you know, wait for it to come in stock and get it pretty easily. But yes, some fruits later in the list are a lot more better than the Venom Fruit, so stay tuned. Swiftly moving on into number 9, we have the new Sound Fruit. This is actually such an underrated fruit and especially for bounty hunting, it is OP. First of all, it is very very easy to get. You can easily get it by doing one or two trades which is you know very good for a fruit secondly for your opponent this fruit is very confusing me myself I have gotten destroyed by a lot of sound users because you don't know what move they are actually doing or about to do and here comes the next point that it is extremely like I mean extremely annoying for your opponent like they would not be able to counter you and even if they do you can easily counter them back and defeat them in the fight so I I would highly suggest you guys to use the sound fruit for bounty hunting but keep in mind you should get race v4 before you should try to use this fruit because i think that will make a huge difference okay let's move on into number eight the sand fruit this is quite a common fruit and you guys can get it pretty easily but it has one of the best combo potentials in the entire game if you like to do combos and you want to finish the fight in a couple of seconds the sand fruit is the perfect fruit for you. And the best part is, it is one of the most easiest fruits to learn in the entire game. Whether you are a noob or you are a pro, you can easily use this fruit for bounty hunting and I would highly recommend you to do so as well. Swiftly moving on into number 7, we have the ice fruit. A lot of you guys would have expected this fruit to be on this list and yes, it deserves to be on this list. No doubt, the ice fruit has one of the best combo potentials in the game and personally i think it is one of the most easiest fruits to use and it has very easy combos and if you want to get this fruit yeah that's gonna be such an easy job for you so don't even worry about that but currently the ice fruit is getting out of meta because everybody has been using very very strong fruits and very fast fruits so for you to stun them and do a very good combo on them that has very low chances so for that reason i would recommend you guys to watch till the end to find a better fruit but of course you can use this one as well next up at number six we have the portal fruit hands down this is my favorite fruit in the game first of all it is extremely difficult to use because you don't really have a move which stuns your opponent or deals a lot of damage and to be honest the moves are very confusing to understand but once you do you can use this fruit and it will literally be such a big help especially for sword users me myself as a sword main i use this fruit on a regular basis and I literally love it. It is one of the best fruits in the game. And lastly, I would like to mention that portal fruit is very good for chasing people. You know in blocks fruits when you guys get somebody low and they just book it, they literally just run. You can easily catch them by using the portal fruit. So yeah, let's move on into the top 5 best fruits now. At number 5, we have the dragon fruit. A lot of you guys would have expected this fruit to be on this list and yes, it is. The dragon fruit has has insanely high damage like trust me it has super 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 high damage but there is one issue right now it is actually getting quite hard to get this fruit because the dragon fruit is getting a rework pretty soon so everybody has been hyping it up and for that reason the value of dragon fruit has increased tremendously so for you to get your hands on this fruit it is actually quite difficult right now but if you have it yes it is one of the best fruits for bounty Hunt. If you guys have made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing, that would be such a big help to the channel. Now, at number 4, we have the Rumble Fruit. 
this is by far the best fruits for sword mains if you guys are using a sword you guys should always be using the portal or the rumble fruit it is very good for combos and also is extremely easy to use so if you guys are a new player or you are a pro you can easily use this fruit and get lots and lots of bounty and lastly, the Rumble Fruit has three different teleports. You can use these whenever you want, after a combo, before a combo, or to chase down your enemy. Which is of course such a big help for bounty hunters. So for that reason, I will be ranking it at number 4. Now let's move on into the top 3 best fruits for bounty hunting. At number 3, we have the Leopard Fruit. This is such an annoying fruit for your opponents, and trust me, a lot of people run away if they see a leopard user, since you know, it's very hard to deal with. But there's one issue that it is actually quite difficult to obtain as well because its value is 5 million belly and in trading people often give game passes for this fruit so yeah you can tell how many people want this fruit but anyways if you have the leopard fruit it is one of the most easiest fruits to use and also one of the best fruits for bounty hunting so yeah good luck with earning bounty and annoying your opponent now at number two we have the doe fruit this fruit was once at number one on my list but now we have a new contender but first let's talk about the doe fruit it is known for its combos especially one shot combos like literally if you practice with the doe fruit you can easily get over 10 million bounty and to be honest it will only take you like a week or two so yeah and plus it's very easy to use so if you are a beginner you can learn it and use it very efficiently and lastly, I have to mention this, that it is kinda difficult to get. It's not really hard to get, like the leopard fruit or the dragon fruit. But yeah, it's kinda hard to get, so just keep that in mind. But yes, it is one of the best fruits in the game. And now, here we have the moment you all have been waiting for. The best fruit for bounty hunting currently is the kitsune fruit. Yes, the kitsune fruit is the best fruit for bounty hunting. And hands down, it is the most hardest fruit to get as well. It is worth around 3 leopards and plus adds, which means that it is nearly impossible to get this fruit. Well, not really impossible, but it would take you a lot of time. But keep in mind, this fruit is very fast, like extremely fast, also has very low cooldowns and is very annoying for your opponents. Basically, it's like a upgraded version of the leopard fruit. And you know how annoying it is to fight a leopard user. So yeah, the Kitsune fruit is definitely on number one in my list. So with that being said, that wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys enjoyed this or found it helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, let me know what fruits you guys are using in bounty hunting. So with that being said, please hit that subscribe button and also join my discord server down in the description. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.